Hey y'all, this is Jessica with Bless Your Heart. Let's make a couple of alcohol ink camo tumblers. We're gonna start with two 30 ounce skinnies from Hog, and we're gonna spray paint those with Head in the Clouds by Color Shot. And you're gonna need to put a piece of cling wrap down. And now we're gonna get started. For this first cup, the alcohol inks that I'm going to be using are Tim Holtz Oregano, Espresso, Sunset Orange, and then I'm gonna use Brie Reese Mars Black. I'm just gonna go in and dot the alcohol inks, just kind of squirt it on however you wanna get it on. I am gonna start with the oregano, then I'm gonna go to the espresso, then the sunset orange, and then I'm gonna kinda just lightly put some of the black in because the black will take over. So for this tutorial, the inspiration I got was from Miss Kiss Creations. I'll try to find that Tumblr uh, tutorial and list it below but you just wanna put your alcohol inks on there. Then you're going to place your cup on one edge of your cling wrap and roll it up and try not to overlap the edges. So you just place it down flat and then roll it up. And then you wanna go in and just kinda of crunch it yourself with the alcohol inks and the cling wrap still on there. See how I'm pulling so it kinda of doesn't overlap? And you just want to kind of press it all in like that. And then I take it off, crunch the actual cling wrap up, and kind of go in and dot it back on the tumbler. And that's going to give us kind of like that stick look, I guess, a little bit. It's going to, that alcohol ink is still wet, so it's going to kind of give us that crinkled look. And in my opinion, this is what gives it kind of like that realistic-ish camo look. Now for this next one, the inks I'm using are Tim Holtz Bottle, Teakwood, and I'm gonna pull out the oregano again, and Brie Reese Neon Orange. I want these tumblers to be similar, but not entirely the same at all. But it's just the exact same setup. You wanna kinda sprinkle, squirt, however you wanna get your alcohol inks on there. And you wanna go color by color, uh, not too much of one, not too much of the other, just kind of whatever you feel. Then we're gonna roll it up and we're gonna crunch it again. Now this one, we're gonna have to do a little something different, but we'll get to that in just a second. Now, as you can see, we've still got some pretty big white spots. So I'm gonna pull back out the oregano and I'm going to put that alcohol ink directly on the cling wrap. And I'm just gonna go in and basically what I'm trying to do is I'm not scared of all that white hanging out. I just kinda wanna muddy up 
some of the brightness of this. I do want it to be a little bit different than the other. You can tell the other one was a little bit darker because the black kind of took over a little bit. But this one, I kind of just want to muddy up and clean up some of those white pieces. And that's where the extra little oregano on the cling wrap comes into play. Once we're happy with that, we're gonna move on to the first part of our decal. Now I have gone in and marked with a Sharpie what center is according to my lids. This is a decal that the customer asked for. These swords I just got off Creative Fabrica and cut them out of like the gray steel colored uh, 651 and the white words are out of just plain white 651. Now at this moment there is no epoxy on these cups so I'm trying to make sure I don't take off any of my alcohol inks and luckily that worked out for me. But after I get these swords on both of the cups I am going to put a layer of epoxy on them. After a coat of epoxy, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with my vinyl and decal work, and I'm just going to place these words as close as I can to center from my eye. Once I like the way both of them look, I'm going to epoxy both cups until smooth. And here we go. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.